Today I am just going to be flat out honest with you about two things. The first thing is that I'm really struggling to do a video today. Like, you know when you've got one of those days where you, you just don't feel motivated in the same way you usually do. You know, like maybe you're working towards something big or you've, you know, usually you can just get down and, and just, you know, do what you need to do. Today it's just not happening. The time is almost four in the afternoon. I have been reading today. I have been learning some new software, which I'll tell you about in a minute. I think that's it. A bit of eating. More eating than I should be, that's for sure. Too much cereal. Had a bit of a cereal addiction recently. So yeah, struggling today, so it's just gonna be one of those days where I just talk, and that's pretty much it. The other thing was these videos. Like, you've probably noticed a reasonable consistency over the last sort of few weeks, few months, in terms of, you know, how I start the videos, how I sort of take you with me through my day, and then how I end the videos. Now, the channel is what I want to grow. Like, I want to grow the YouTube channel. I want to get more subscribers. I want to sort of tie that in with building my business and therefore getting better equipment and being able to video more stuff and being able to grow the channel more. So it's sort of like a snowball effect. Right now it's slow. I'm almost at 800 subscribers. I thought that was really bad, but I talked with someone the other day who knows YouTube very well, consults with people, and he said, actually for eight months, that's pretty damn good. So I don't feel so bad. In talking with this guy, he suggested a few things I can change to sort of start growing my channel. The problem is, and I don't know if it's a problem, but I don't like it that much, but maybe it's what I need to do, and that is I need to do videos that aren't just a daily video like this because that doesn't grow the channel. It's great for you if you're already subscribed and you already watch my videos frequently, you know who I am, you know what I'm about, and it's just following me every day, if that's your thing, of course. But in terms of getting more views on YouTube and YouTube's algorithm showing this to other people and saying, hey, you might like this guy, that's not really hugely beneficial from what I understand. And so I'm in this bit of a quandary right now where I enjoy doing videos, I enjoy taking you with me, I enjoy editing at the end of the day, even though it's a lot of work sometimes and it can be pretty tough and you know it's late nights and early mornings to get it out to you. I still enjoy it. Yesterday's video, I don't know if you remember, but it was a sort of my first experiment into doing a video that wasn't a daily vlog so much as a kind of how-to and it was about filming with a drone and not getting the, the props, like the blades in view when you're filming and like five things you can do to stop that. So I didn't enjoy doing that video a huge amount, I didn't really enjoy editing it, it was a short three minute video and I honestly felt like I'd missed sharing my day with you. I don't know if that sounds weird but I felt like, oh, I missed yesterday's vlog completely. Like. It felt like it's just missing, even though I did create and upload a video. And so what I've been thinking about today is I enjoy taking you with me every day and editing the videos and uploading, but it's not growing the channel, certainly as much as it could be. And I'm weighing that up against doing videos that I enjoy less, so far at least, from what I can tell, but should grow the channel. And it's like, you know, like, what do I do? So I'm just sitting in that right now. What I'll do now is show you that software that I mentioned. You're definitely gonna find it interesting, I promise. Right, if you take a look at this screen here. So this here is a kind of key holder, not that I'm designing, but just messing about and learning this software with. This isn't a proper design, it's just me mucking around, how, learning how to cut and chamfer and bevel and all that sort of good stuff. So that software there is Solid Edge. It's kind of fancy software, fancy for me at least. It's not cheap. I was gonna buy it, but it's around about 7,000 New Zealand dollars, but you can rent it or pay monthly for it, whatever you call it. So I paid about 500 New Zealand dollars. I just got it this morning. So I'm gonna get it for a month and see if I use it. I mean, recently, you know, I've been talking about a CNC machine and, and how that's not really viable for my business right now. So what I need to do is, is get more prototypes done and take products further along before I actually present them to my machinist and sort of take development from there. And so that's what this software is for. I'm honestly not sure how it's gonna go, hence just getting it for a month. I'll see, you know, how well I can do learning the software. I mean, I, you, I believe you can learn pretty much anything. It's just a matter of time and effort and putting in the work and the hours. So I don't think that's an issue. It's just how effective it's gonna be. How far can I take products along the development cycle just with software before I have to actually 
have real prototypes made. So, a bit of an experiment, kind of exciting, kind of daunting as well. Right, I am going to get back to learning this software and doing some 3D drawing. But first, I will leave you with a quote. It's by Stoic philosopher Epictetus, and he said, Consider at what price you sell your integrity. But please, for God's sake, don't sell it cheap. Thank you.